Good morning, Doll Piliacs and Disney Dust Collectors. Um, I'm doing a Saturday morning, well, Saturday noonish video. But for me, I'm going to pretend it's the morning because it just makes it a little bit sweeter. I don't know, it just does. But yeah, I'm having a little coffee. Drink a little coffee to start this video. I actually received this last night from Modern Pinup. I pre-ordered the Robin Hood Rescues Maid Marion lounge boy backpack. And it's such a gorgeous bag. Once I saw it, I immediately knew that I was going to have to get this one. It's so beautiful and I'm very excited to finally pull it out. It was definitely testing my patience waiting for this morning to do the video, but I'm glad I did because last night I was very tired. It's been, uh, this is one of my favorite childhood Disney films. Me and my little sister watched Robin Hood incessantly. We constantly were watching it. Um, our favorite part was whenever, you know, Maid Marian is reminiscing about the days that she knew Robin Hood and was longing for him. And she's like, oh, I remember it all so well. And then the little rabbit babies are like, you gonna have any kids? My mama's got a lot of kids. <laughs> Cause we had just seen the scene where they're having the birthday party. And literally there's like 28 children. There's 28 little baby rabbits. Even as children, the innuendo there was not lost on me and my sister. We thought it was hilarious. But overall, just a very beautiful film. And even as children, some of the broader themes in it, it was a lighthearted comedy while also being kind of very serious and talking about themes of the poor and rich and exploitation and taxation in ways that are disproportionate where they affect the poorest among us. So yeah, it was a beautiful film. I still love that film. Um, my, one of my favorite scenes is in fact, the beautiful montage of Maid Marian and Robin Hood after he rescues her, going off into the woods and refinding that love and reconnecting and just the beautiful colors. And the song that is sung at that point is absolutely gorgeous. It's very nostalgic. Seems like only yesterday you were child at play. But anyway, I um, I do have that bag as well. She is already undone. So we're, we will get into her and I'll review that one in a minute. But yes, let's go ahead without further ado. this beautiful robin's egg blue turquoise tissue paper um, in here and I love that modern pinup does that they always put corresponding colorful thematic tissue paper with it and it just makes it that much more magical because you're already prepared but yes modern pinup I love this shop they are wonderful they have great customer service they're very fast and they honestly, you will feel appreciated as a customer. There's little surprises, little Easter eggs that they give you. I don't mean to be so vague. It's like generally like you'll go through the order process and then all of a sudden there's a little discount applied that you didn't put in a promo for or anything. So, you know, it's not like huge, but it's something. It's something where if you were like, oh, I don't know about this bag. You're like, oh, well, now I'm getting a few dollars off. Gonna go for it. Okay. But yeah, if you know that you are going to want a bag, go ahead and pre-order it. Just save yourself the anxiety. And, oh. Now you're all grown up and inside me. Oh. How fast these moments flee. Oh, my beautiful, beautiful baby. I'm gonna put this coffee down here. Oh, wow. She's stunning. 
Stunning, y'all. This is, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, that's it. Isn't it a beautiful bag? That's it. Isn't this a beautiful bag? <laughs> this is incredible. Now, the first thing that catches my eye is the gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Um, it's very much a, that Tiffany blue, that light pastel robin's egg blue, basically. Um, or turquoise. It's kind of all three of those. Um, and then it has that, a darker version of that robin's egg for all of the outlining. And I love that. I love... This is actually my favorite. These are my favorite colors right here. I just love a greenish blue. I'm all about it. And this is just so stunning. I think it really contribute, contributes to the whimsical quality of the bag and the scene because it is so, you know, that classic damsel in distress stereotype, but you know, they're foxes, it's so cute. So here is this beauty in all of her glory. I am obsessed with this bag. As I mentioned, it's beyond my expectations. I actually pre-ordered it when you just see the animation. But yeah, here's that swinging feature of Robin Hood bringing Maid Marian through the festival away from that old King John. Now, I wanna say that I love the expressions on their faces. It's so sweet. They both have those very large puppy dog eyes, well, fox eyes. They're just swinging through the air, but they just look delighted and comforted with these beautiful smiles. Such sweet expressions with beautiful lit up eyes. You can see the catch lights there. And then I also love the coloration that they did on them. It's very subtle, but you can see the shading of the darker pink flowing out, or I guess it's a lavender. Yeah, it's more like a, it's definitely more of a lavender. And then the shading on Robin Hood as well the brighter green going into the darker green. And then I love the beautiful tints that they have pitched and the colors that they chose for all four of them correspond so well with the rest of the color story of the bag. And then I love the teal silhouetted trees. Yeah, this is what I would call um, a kind of a pastel teal. It's not a proper teal. Yeah, I love the silhouetted teal, pastel teal trees, and then the, the shrubbery as well right at the bottom, because this really hints to that style of animation that they were doing at the time Robin Hood came out, which I believe was in the 70s. Yeah, I believe it was in the 70s. And then the bottom is just that darker robin's egg blue turquoise color. And then this is one of my favorite features. I adore teal or turquoise next to gold. So this is stunning. I love that they kind of did a seafoam color for the metal plate. It does match that pale robin's egg blue, pale... Um, Tiffany box color, but it is so stunning. And then the outlining in the gold with the darker turquoise behind it. But yeah, and then the zipper hardware as well is in the gold. The pin up here for the swing and the gold hardware for the handle. So wonderful. You know, it doesn't have side pockets, but the details alone make this bag a superstar. Ah, oh. <laughs> this is the most awesome part. Um, well, maybe not really, but I, this just brings it all home for me. I love his. His is relentless, just keeps after them. He is innovative, obviously, you know? 
really making uh, lemonade out of lemons there. And then so underappreciated at the same time. <laughs> so yeah, I'm glad that they gave Hiss some recognition here because he definitely deserves it. And the color of the, the pink balloon goes so well thematically with the rest of the colors in the bag. You can't deny it. Ah, I need to hurry up though. And let's go ahead and see what this lining is. What's inside? Oh, that's right. See, I forgot. Like, I pre-ordered this so a while back, so I forgot. But, oh. Look at that lining. Oh. That is so cute. Here, let me try that. I love that they have his flying with his helicopter tail and his balloon head through the clouds. And then we also have these like party streamers uh, in colors that correspond to the tents in Robin Hood and Mame Marion's outfits. But yeah, this in lining is absolutely wonderful. That's a lovely lining. I love when they really put a lot of thought into the lining. And then also, we do have an inside zipper pocket. So you can see that. Yeah. So there's a zipper in there. Once we watched a lazy world go by, now the days seem to fly. Life is brief, but when it's gone, love goes on and on. Oh. <laughs> I actually got this mini backpack maybe a week or two after I had watched Robin Hood for the first time in a few years. I think I was just looking on Box Lunch's website and I saw this one and immediately died. I immediately died, came back to life, and decided I needed the bag. <laughs> so those were the in events as they unfolded. And it's such a fitting representation of that beautiful scene in Robin Hood when Maid Marian and Robin Hood are in the woods falling back in love. Oh, I remember it so well. You gonna have any kids? My mama's got a lot of kids. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, this is such a lovely mini backpack. Effortlessly whimsical and just a beautiful enchanted forest scene. Now, the colors are absolutely perfect. They're divine. I love, now we'll just start off. The overall color for this bag is a more of a bluish tinted teal. So this is teal. I've heard some other descriptions of this color, but it is um, a, a proper teal. It's just more on the blue side than it is on the green, but it's unmistakable. You can't, on, the camera, it shows up a little bit more blue than it is in person. But it's definitely like a Barbados Bay, like a tropical bay color. And then next to it, it has this beautiful chestnut brown color on the outlining details and stitch work. And as well as on the zipper. And like the other bag, it does have gold hardware, which again corresponds so lovely with the blue and teal and green colors and tones of the bag. And it does have side pockets that are lined and it's a beautiful lavender floral lining. And it's a print that is um, similar representation of this print. I guess it is that print actually. Yeah, it's just, there's no embroidery. It's all done um, printed. I also love the fact that they went with aesthetics that mirror the animation in the film, but as well that they do an artwork style that is reminiscent of medieval artwork. 
So it's very cohesive with the time period that it's set in. I mean, animal medieval time period that it's set in, as cohesive as it can get with that. And then the plate, the metal plaque is gorgeous. It's that lovely teal color as well that looks a little bit greener. It has more of a forest green color to it with the enamel and the shine. But it's absolutely lovely. And under the tree, we get all of those colors that remind you of the film and that beautiful sequence when we find out that their love goes on and on. But it has beautiful embroidered lavender flowers here. And that embroidery comes all the way at the top of the mini backpack, cascading down. And if you notice that the way that they do the directions of the leaves and the directions of the petals of the flowers falling down, it really captures the movement and you can feel it cascading down on them. And it's like a shower of love, raining down love on Maid Marian and Robin Hood. And actually, this is such a beautiful detail. They have a little, like, floral ring on Maid Marian's hand. And it is embroidered. It's actually embroidered. Let me get up in there. It's so beautiful. And I love that her eyes are closed in this sweet expression. And he is just looking at her longingly. And he's got that clever little, it looks like a clever little smirk, even though we can't see the other side of his face, but it's so cute. And I love her choker. Little turquoise pendant right there on the choker with this dark purple band. Goes so well with her beautiful purplish lavender outfit. And then I'm gonna point out one thing that is a subtle detail but I love it. And that is the fact that they have this beautiful ombre of kind of a kind of a garden garden stroll green that highlights and it looks like where they're stepping. Like that's the love lighting up. It has a very like Pandora-esque before that was even a thing in its aesthetics. But those that's actually the proper aesthetics for this sequence in the film and it's just beautiful you know it's like pre-fern gully <laughs> but yeah i love that how we get that beautiful electrifying green that is su it's subtle it's not a neon or anything but just the way it's highlighted with all the darker blues and teal tones around it really makes it stand out and then it ombres out to softer greens and into a blue actually beyond them which is to represent the dark of the night but it's just a beautiful concept you know their love is raining down on them and it's lit up it's just they're completely one with nature it's almost like they're druids which is very i guess thematically relevant given the medieval time period or dark age time period and them being animals, like of course they're attuned with nature. And then on the tree in the background, we have RH and MM, beautiful. And then for Mary Magdalene, I mean, Maid Mary. <laughs> oh, and then also like you can even see like all the different colors that they give it contribute to the overall dimension. Cause even in the background, there's these similar silhouetted shapes, but in, black or in a, a very very dark deep blue and you can see it up here as well going around and then it just kind of fades out and it just brings out so much lovely dimension to the bag i'm in love with it and it has such a large because they were trying to capture such a beautiful scene it has a large pocket here, which is perfect for a phone. But I love the fact that that per print continues downward. And it's almost seamless. Like, it just it flows so naturally. 
when you see the lining of that interior pocket or the interior lining of the pocket. Go ahead and get it. Uh, again, we have that print on a very large scale inside and throughout the interior of the bag. I love this print. It's a gorgeous print. All my favorite colors. And yes, we do have a pocket on the interior of the bag with a zipper. Awesome. Thank you so much for watching this video with me and um, enjoying a Saturday, I guess, afternoon with me. It was wonderful to have both of these bags finally together. It really is cohesive and thematic. Even the colors on each one work so lovely with each other. And the animation styles are different, but I think it just makes each one unique in its own right while still remaining thematically relevant to each other. Thank you so much for watching again. Please do like and subscribe and let us know your thoughts. You know, we would love to make this more of an interactive experience and definitely want to hear from those of you that are watching this. All right. Well, y'all have a wonderful weekend. We'll try to get some more reviews up soon. And yeah, can't wait to see you again.